Once you guys got another video here for you about blocking built-in apps in Windows 10 using AppLocker. Now I will be making a video for you Windows 10 home users to show you how to do it. But in this one we're going to be taking a look for Windows 10 Pro and also Windows 10 Pro and above. We'll be using the Group Policy Editor. So go down to Search and type GP Edit and this will open up the Group Policy Editor by clicking on Edit Group Policy. Now once we've got the group policy editor open we're going to need to go to a location in the computer configuration windows settings so under the uh, computer configuration windows settings pull this down and you should see security settings here click on this and drop the arrow down and then you want to drill down to where it says application uh, control policies open this one up here and you should see app locker and there we go so what we want to do here is right click on app locker and we're going to go to properties and this will open up the properties pane here and what we're going to do here is go down to packages app rules so we're going to go in here and put a tick inside configured and make sure it's on enforce rules click apply and OK once we've done that we can now set up our apps rules so what we're going to do is going to right click on the package app rules here and it will give you another little window where we can uh, create default rules this is going to allow uh, default rules to run and that's exactly what we want to do because we're going to be blocking the rules inside here so what we're going to do next is right click again on the app rules here and we're going to create a new rule once we got here we can now go next and this will open up the next window now what we want to do here is we've got two, two options here to allow or deny but we're going to be denying an app from being reinstalled once we've uh, stopped it from uh, running so let's go ahead and go everyone here and now we can use the install package app as a reference use that as it is and then click select once we click on select it will take a bit of time to populate but another little box will pop up on the screen and there we go now we've got the select applications so now all you need to do here is go ahead and select the applications that you want to block now when you do a massive update uh, Microsoft loves to uh, put these apps back on your system you can see Candy Crush here I'm just going to remove one of those for now and you can uh, use whatever information you want there I'm going to leave it as a uh, package version and from that we're going to go next and this is the exception area here you can add an exception in here if you wish I'm going to go ahead and just uh, click on next here and now we can create the rule you can put uh, some optional information in the description if you wish I'm just going to click on create and you should now see a deny feature here and this is for the deny for the candy crush here now what we're going to do is go through the process once more and it is a bit of a laborious process but once you've got this set up you can set up the rules and have them all set and then export these and then just copy these across to all the um, machines on your network if you wish now you can also set this up to a specific person on the network or you can just have it as everyone it's entirely up to you but go through here with a fine tooth comb and take a look at all the applications that you don't want to be installed and it will go ahead and uh, read those rules you can see here Cortana I'm just going to head ahead and go next and then create that rule there we go and you should see now two rules have been created for deny and uh, we'll just do a couple of more here just to show you I'm going to go ahead and create a new rule and go next and then deny leave it as everyone and then click select again this does take a bit of time to populate the next box but once it pops up we can then select another program uh, from the list here so you can see here we've got a bunch of them inside here which we don't want to be installed well I don't I've got Fitbit coach I've got Skype we've got feedback I don't need all those uh, being installed all the time so what you can do here is you can use this slider here for your package version or the package name or publisher 
or any publisher or whatever it is that you want to set yours up as I'm just going to leave it as the default and continue to add the um, denies in here now again this does take a bit of time but once you've got this set up you're pretty much good to go from there and all you need to do is uh, just block all these and it should be good so let me go ahead and do one more for you and then we'll export the list and I'll continue this and I'll show you what it looks like once it's been completed so let me just do one more app here you can pull these open so you can see more information about the app here and you can see there is a bunch of stuff on here like Xbox and you can see uh, Feedback Hub and there's a bunch of others on here and you, can, you can only tick one at a time as you can see you can't do more than one and I think it would have been a great way to just tick a load of these in one fell swoop and then just click OK and it would have denied all of those but uh, sadly you can't do that and you have to do these one at a time but as you can see here they're all listed here now and these are the locations where they're going to be blocked so I'm going to quickly speed this process up here so you don't have to watch me go through the whole process of uh, blocking these applications and then uh, I'll show you what the end result looks like okay so I'll just quickly finish this last one off here and then uh, we'll be able to see the list so here is the full list once it's been completed and you can do some more if you wish you can add another one in at the end of this if you wish if you want to save all of this list all you need to do here is right click on the package apps rules and then you can go export and uh, give it a name whatever you want call it blocked apps or whatever it is you want to call it I'm just going to call mine uh, blocked apps let me just quickly type this out and uh, once I've done that I can save this on a location where I know uh, it is and there we go and if you want to add another one in at a late date you can do there's nothing stopping you doing that you can do and uh, basically you just create a list as long as you like but if you want to just create a short one you can also do allow here allow apps to go through um, if you want to so if, if there's something in there that you want to allow you can uh, maybe something like calculator or something like that that you want to use you can allow that to go through but I don't need any of this stuff um, so I'm just going to be blocking uh, quite a lot of this uh, because I don't use it so and once I've done that we're pretty much done Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. That's basically how you can block all the built-in apps on a Windows 10 Pro system. If you want to see this up for Windows 10 Home, I will do that video for you tomorrow. Uh, this is my uh, merch store. If you're interested in any t-shirts, mugs, or anything like that, stickers, the uh, merch store is now up and running. You can check that out in the video description if you're interested. If you're not, there's no big deal. But other than that, that's about it for this video. I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.